All right, so today we are going to show you how to assemble and disassemble your anesthetic. So we have our syringes, we have our carpules, our different needles, and we also have our needle cappers. So Teresa is going to kind of demonstrate and kind of walk you guys through it. Okay, a syringe. So we're going to put our anesthetic in first. You want to watch out for the little harpoon inside. Be careful, they're sharp. That's why they call them a harpoon. This is your anesthetic carpule. This is the top, this is the bottom. This little rubber stopper inside here is going to go down towards the harpoon. So when you have your anesthetic carpule, you're going to want to hold it in one hand and push up and push down at the same time. Take your thumb on the little wings, push up while you're pulling down with your fingers up pull down take your little rubber stopper put it in and let go again push up and pull down and put it in there just like that take your needle take the little clear part apart just by twisting and put your needle on top pushing as you're twisting be careful and just get it on there and then in the dental office you would harpoon it that makes this stay in there and the doctor's ready to go you pass it to your doctor this is your blue needle it's ready for anything on the maxillary the other one this one does not have wings it has a harpoon inside you're going to take your thumb push up your little finger push down, up and down, up and down. Rubber stopper inside and let go. Your yellow needle for your mandibular. Put it in and twist. There we go. And gently harpoon it and you're ready to go. If you take your needle off, your needle capper off, you're never going to place this on with your hand after the doctor's done the injection. Reason being, because this is now dirty, you don't want to accidentally stick yourself. So you can chase it around till it's found something sturdy. Follow it quite all over your table. They seem to fly. It's kind of funny. Now it's on there. Or you have a needle capper that helps you get it right back on. Nice and safe. There's also these little blue needle cappers that once the needle is off, if it was to accidentally get poked, you're safe, won't get you, helps keep everybody safe. Now taking the needles apart, you would just gently take the needle off. Let's try the other one. Gently take your needle off by twisting. Put the little cover back on, nice and safe. And pop out your anesthetic. It's all taken apart, nice and safe. So now we're going to show you what is the difference between your blue and yellow needles on your syringe. So the blue one is a little bit shorter than your yellow. This is for the maxillary, everything on top. And every time you get a shot on the top, it is on each individual tooth. It's infiltrating on those teeth. So blue is shorter. Yellow is for the mandibular. It is a block shot. It's a longer needle and it gets the whole side numb, either your lower left or your lower right. 
a lot of teeth in that block, your side of your tongue, everything will be numb from that side. So this is individual. The smaller needle is individual. And the longer needle is a block. Block in the back of the mouth. So the yellow will do a nerve block. It's blocking all of the nerve, the blood flow, all on this side from 17 to almost 24. The foramen's down here, so this will be all numb. Your tongue will be numb, lasts about two hours, depending on the type of anesthetic the doctor prefers to use. Uh, and they normally just do one side at a time so the patient doesn't bite their tongue or swallow their tongue or something like that. The uppers can be numbed anywhere they need to be numbed on that top for those procedures, each area all the way around.